all right so welcome guys to another video this is going to be a little bit different of a video type but with that being said i wanted to go over the main reasons as to why drive rush is currently in an unhealthy state and while yes we do promote uh positive gaming we sometimes should talk about the things in the game that are less than savory let's call them right uh with that being said um, I'm trying to explain this in a way where everyone can understand and that's what my goal is for this video So hopefully stay along and uh, hopefully you learn something So the first reason as to why I think a drive rush is currently unhealthy is that even though you see it coming You still can get smoked now. What does that mean? In the case that your opponent, let's say uh, we're dealing with like where is i cannot find dj there you go say the case where you're dealing with a dj right dj has a lot of options right naturally you gotta deal with like m slash at this range you also gotta contend with you trying to jump and getting blown up this way right um so sometimes um they'll just kind of sit back throw their fireball and then you know at a certain point they'll make the decision to go in and in those cases then you have to contend with this going in on your face and then being plus three on your face now this may be uh the case for some of you folks other folks you may be at a, a different rank where you don't experience this as much but this is something that does happen um fairly commonly right so what ends up happening is that your opponent does die of a jab and then now they're in your face they're plus three and if they want to they can also go for this into uh back heavy kick right which is technically not the worst situation after you go for back heavy kick but um you're definitely they're definitely in your face and they're plus in your face so these are the things where can be a little bit annoying especially if what happens is that if you're incorrect even if you you have to be very quick and your timing cannot be delayed you have to be very on it right for instance let me focus for a second oh okay right you have to be very quick and deliberate with it so then what ends up happening is that when you start hyper focusing on the drive rush then that's when they'll just kind of sit back and they'll kind of abuse other options available to them that's when they'll start jumping at you and it makes it very difficult to manage all of these things right so why you may think why am i blaming drivers why not other areas i'd say the the most important thing to note is the fact that a lot of these other options are fairly manageable but even though like you're actively looking for this option for instance if you're actively looking for anti-air most of the time you'll end up getting the anti-air right most of the time most right when it comes to drive rush it's a little bit more it's a little bit more um not so consistent when it comes to that right so that's why you kind of have to be a little bit extra wary of drive rush which results in uncomfortable gameplay it results in counter hit situations where you get carried over to the corner and then you end up getting put into a vortex situation excuse me aka a situation where you have to do a lot of guessing and then repeat guessing and whatever have you right so it puts you in a situation that is fairly uncomfortable let's move on to the next thing here so if you clicked on this video i'm sure you need some help lord knows i did at some point but here's the thing you want your favorite content creators to come and help you but let's be real they're charging like 60 dollars per hour you don't need that but when i got you i got you good over on this channel i do free coaching sessions on tuesdays and on thursdays at 6 30 p.m est so what does that look like i essentially go over your matches i can give you tools so that you can succeed the next time you open up rank so once again join my discord wait till i'm live either on tuesdays or on thursdays 6 30 p.m est be there or be square and yeah i'm not your favorite pro but i'm available those pros are not available so once again join the live get better and i'll help you improve back to the video 
So the next thing is that if you get counter hit by certain characters, you just explode. And this one doesn't really need very much. Um, you just know that if a certain character gets hit, like for instance, Sir Luke here, right? If you get the hit, right? Let's say, okay, let, my, my Luke combos are terrible, right? But, but let's say, let's suppose, oh my goodness. Let me uh, attempt to do a, wow. <laughs> this is even what I mean. <laughs> this is what I mean, right? Even though I know it's coming. Oh, my inputs. Jeez. Well, this is a good example because even though I'm actively going to snipe it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Right, you get a lot of um, in the cases where you get counter hit, you get put into a combo, and then you end up suffering for it. Right, this is a perfect example. Is that even though I know it's coming, right? Sure, some people will say easier. <laughs> Arching medium punch. <sighs> the amount of hyper focus that needs to go into it is not great. That's just what I'll say. Right. With that being said, um, depending on which character you play, you might have to resort to using uh, certain buttons to check. And unfortunately, that may also mean that you don't get very much reward. Right. So let's say in the cases that we were having here. Right. If I feel like we're a little bit if that happens, I feel like if that happens. Right. Yeah. You get hit. And in the case that you get hit here, you get counter hit. Then you get a route. In the case that you're right here, right? Luke is obviously the exception where he actually gets damage, right? In the case where you're dealing with other characters, you're gonna get maybe a 20% combo at best, right? You're gonna get a, um, you're gonna get a 20% combo at best, right? And with that being said, I feel as though when you're dealing with this situation here, getting a 20% a combo versus them getting maybe like 20, depending on what hit, granted, this is depending on what hit they go for, but if they get drive bus jab, a lot of characters do get a lot of value off of drive bus jab. Like for instance, when we're talking about Ken, Ken can do drive rush jab into uh, run Tatsu into the corner and puts you into the situation where you have to guess, right? Right? then you gotta guess throw you gotta guess um button right you have to start guessing for your life essentially meanwhile they don't really hold anything outside of possibly getting checked depending on how proficient you are in it right uh the next thing i want to discuss is fireball drive rush now fireball drive rush is essentially i think jerry does it the best <laughs> or Jerry is one of the Jerry and Chun are one of the, the the biggest culprits of this, right? So what will happen is that you'll rush behind it, and in the case that they get hit by it, right, they still can't do anything because their turn is over. Oh, I am pressing the wrong things here. Right? So because you're plus off of the fireball, right? Because you're plus off the fireball. Jerry can just rush in and then make you hold stuff. And even if you decide to parry it, you still get hit, right? You still have to hold the situation that is afterwards, right? You still have to hold it. And that's why fireball drive rush is why people are complaining so much is because there's so much um, thinking involved or a lack thereof of thinking involved when it comes to this, because you just do it and then you get in, right? Traditionally, Street Fighter players want to play neutral and they want to play footsies and I'm putting, putting uh, quotation marks on that, right? They want to go back and forth. They want to whiff punish, whatever. But this game kind of forces them into a situation where they're just full sending at each other or 
throwing this behind it and being completely safe behind it and just going burr that way right they're not really having to think about their offense all that often and because of that it feels scrubby at least to the uh higher echelon of people who play this game right anyways i hope this sheds a little bit of light as to why it's a little bit in a unhealthy state with that being said please uh comment down below what you think about drive rush in this current state i hope 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 that we get something in may if not hey it is what it is anyways have a good one y'all peace